Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, and uh, for those of you who are new here, welcome, and to my OGs, welcome back. It is Saturday evening, I think, it's what, 5.59 p.m. my time, so I guess that would be evening, and not sure when I'm going to put out this episode, probably today or tonight, so yeah, happy Saturday. Um, Let's get into this episode of Dragon Age uh, Origins, I almost said Inquisitions, Um, I think this is episode 8. We are going to try to cut this into two different parts, so there will be two episodes this evening, but they won't be as long. So let's get into the story, and as we run, I... Um, trying to think where we left off. Oh, let's go back. Um, I think we rescued, um, Kunari. Uh, his name was Sten, and we did clear out the towns, uh, from the bandits, and, uh, we got jumped by some town folks. So we're going to continue on with the questing. I do believe we might have one more quest in our journal. Let's see. Maybe not. Yeah, we do. All right, so, oh, yeah. Did I, okay, did did I do this? I thought I did this. Okay, so I need to call infected bears um, and find the orphan's mother. So call the infected bears. You read on the chanter's board about some blight infected bears to the north of Lotharin causing trouble for the villagers. The chanter will pay one sovereign to anyone who manages to slay these bears. And then find the orphan's mother. The chanter is offering, offering a small reward to anyone who is willing to venture out into the wilderness to find the remains of a missing woman, Sara. Her personal effects may bring some small measure of comfort to her orphan son. Where is her orphan son, by the way? I think we like sent him off with um, a sovereign, maybe some silver. I don't remember. But okay, we're going to go ahead and clear this out. And then I guess we'll run back and turn that other quest in. I thought I made those venom potions, but I guess I'm wrong. Let me check my inventory real quick because I don't want to waste uh yeah how many do i need did how many do i need i need i need i need i need i need three so i have okay so i just need to turn those in all right let's g okay i forgot about this part oh my goodness we are being ambushed by a bunch of dogs and i love dogs i hate killing them but i'm gonna have to Look, guys, I wasn't paying attention to Liliana. Sorry. <laughs> I just was not. I think I was uh, trying to figure out um, where my wolf went. Okay, so I forgot that I had actually added this spell. I, uh, really quick, um, where is it at? I don't remember. Where is it at? Okay, you have to be patient with me. I don't remember how we figure out, I think it's up here, special talents? Yes, here we go. Okay, so I added another ability to Alaria's um, itinerary, itinerary. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, she is a ranger, um, that's her, her specialization right now. I happen to like that specialization. It's probably not the best. Um, but I am not, uh, going to, um, I'm not playing World of Warcraft here. (laughs) This is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to go with what I think is fun. And I love the Ranger special specialization. And here's Mother. 
That is my poor uh, English accent. Okay, so she's, um, yeah, she's dead. So we're going to have to take the keepsake back to her son, or at least back to the Chantry. And we've got some bars to kill over here. Uh, Al Alistair, go do your thing, buddy boy. Okay, I think that's it. All right, let me just check on Liliana really quick. And yeah, I'm pretty sure she was injured. All right, let's take care of that. And we're off. I think that is all we have to do here, just turning these quests, and then we can head out to our next destination, which is out of here. Um, how was I going to say? I think this is, no, that's the little girl. Where did that little boy go? Is that him over here? Okay, that's not important. Let's just, let's just go. <laughs> I think I do want to empty out. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need to go here first. Dee, dee, dee. I think I do need to empty out my inventory before I head on. Um, well, I don't know. I think I can empty my inventory elsewhere. But uh, let's just turn this in. Any luck with that poison? Or are you here to see my stock? Um. Yeah, I have what you asked for. Splendid. Uh, if those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some. Hey. <laughs> First of all, he didn't give me any gold. He gave me seventy-five silver. So, yeah, I don't know what. Uh, math he was doing yeah um but what was i gonna say oh yeah there was um a, cousin in the tent a commenter um or a person that commented in my last video apparently there's a bug Do that i have tales of the wild none of the sort you like this moment no princesses in tall towers or knights throwing themselves at whole armies that's not all i like do you want tales of the chastened wilders who dwell in the marsh? Do you want to hear of the slow deaths they inflict on their enemies? Perhaps a tale of the poisonous creatures of the wilds that lay their eggs on your skin so their young may eat you alive when hatched? Ugh. Or a tale of my mother's marsh cuisine? That, in my opinion, is the most terrifying of all my tales. Uh, no, I don't want to hear about those things. Then I have no tales for you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, so apparently I have a bug in my game where um, there's a um, a chest in the chantry or that big chest that we opened up that was supposedly filled with goods that they couldn't carry and supposedly there was suppo there supposedly there was supposed to be there was supposed to be a pair of elven boots in there and I have not once ever seen those boots in any game any time I play this game, uh, which is quite a bit. So um, I did download the mod that he uh, suggested. And I do thank you. Um, I'm sorry I forgot your name, but I really appreciate the uh, the advice. So let's turn these in. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Thank you. Oh, wait. For a foundation built of stone, marble, or any precious metal is worthless if faith in the maker is... Okay, I guess I turned those in. Okay, so we are out of here. Um, I do... I, I have to figure out how to get those boots because I, I read them. I read the um, instructions on how to get... The boots and uh yeah so let me pause it really quickly and i will be right back and we're back okay so i did read up either there's a tome a tome that's added to my inventory or i can check the cabinet before i leave lothering okay. so let's go do that first if it's not in there i'll try to look for the tome um hopefully 
the boots are there. I think I can still check this cabinet. It doesn't look like I can. But it said as long as I don't leave Lothering. Well, okay. I mean, is there any other? I don't think so. Okay, well, let me check my inventory really quick and see if there is a tome. Um, yeah, I'm, what is this? Private documents. No helmet. It's not working for me. I don't see it at all. Oh, that sucks. I guess I'll have to figure that out. I'm pretty sure this isn't it. And I'm pretty sure that is all I have in my inventory. So, well, that blows monkey chunks. Um, all right, well, I will figure that out. Maybe I installed it incorrectly, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Miles better than later. And so we're going to head out of the city finally. I will say this game does kind of start off a little bit slow um, for some people. Um, All right, I've come up with one. Oh, a question it. that you can't answer. Are you talking to me? That's right. You think you're so smart. I've got an academic question that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. So tell me then, what was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question, not an academic one. You're joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. Do you not know more than a child? I care nothing for your religion. And this game of yours is over. Oh, how the mighty have crumbled. All right. Uh, apparently, every time I cross that bridge, uh, dialogue starts. So sorry about that. All right. Let's get out of the town and continue on with our questing. Um, I think I did say I was going to figure out the whole deal with the boots off camera. Hopefully, I'll figure out what I did wrong if I did. Oops. All right, I forgot about that um, clip. Bad dreams, huh? Um, it seems so real. It must have been something I ate. Why are you bothering me? I'm fine. Uh, yeah, let's not be rude. It seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. The Archdemon, is that the dragon? Why didn't Duncan just tell everyone that? Are these dreams going to happen a lot? Hmm. The Archdemon, is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I'm not frightened. Any other surprises I should know about? You could have told me earlier. Thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. Um, any other surprises I should know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Okay. So, new quest. Enchantment. <laughs> and this is our party camp. Uh, this is where we can come and uh, hang out and chat with our um, our party members. So why don't we go ahead and do that, uh, get to know some people. First, let's get to know Liliana because she is the newest in our party and we have not spoken. Well, she's not the newest. I think Sten is, but we haven't really gotten to know her. So let's do yes. that. Um, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Um, this vision of yours... 
what was life like in the Chantry Cloister? Let's ask her about this vision. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I, I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Okay, what then? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. Okay, um, that's just wishful thinking, Liliana. Um, and this made you want to help me? Uh, did you hear voices? I don't need your maker interfering in my life. Um, I think I'm going to go with option two, and this made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? I'm going to ignore the the lawnmower in the background, so I apologize. Okay, so the Chantry says the Maker has left us. The blight is the Maker's punishment. Will you defy him? I suppose I couldn't sit by either. I'm going to say I suppose I couldn't sit by either. That is why you're a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. And I said that because I know that Alaria would not. If, you know, she is um, the type of person that will take action, um, she would not sit on her loins. And we saw that at the beginning of her story. Um, as soon as that she saw that her castle was being bombarded and take, trying to be taken over by um, Arl Hal, she got right into the fr uh, the fray so yeah i'm gonna s s talk to stan i think and then i think we'll go ahead and figure out what these two guys are wanting over there why are we stopping oh okay um never mind let's keep moving well i think we should talk for a moment stan don't you there are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful uh, no need to be rude um i need to know if i can trust you at my back well, I mean, why would she release him just to say, hey, I need to know if I can trust you? I guess that's a legitimate um, response, but let's ask him if he's okay. He's been in the cage for weeks. Maybe we shouldn't ask them that. <laughs> no, let's ask him. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Okay, well, uh, I've never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your people. No. Okay, well. Sorry. Um, never mind then. Let's keep moving. As you wish. <laughs> Rude. Um, all right. So let's talk to ah, it's them. Good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedric, at your service once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Sounds yes. great. Great. Uh, you're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Well, let me see your wares, Bodon. Let me see what you got. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with your discount. Great. I appreciate it. Um, let's see if you do have anything that we could use. You know what? I really should be trying to... Um, equip things oh yeah i don't have anywhere near enough gold for that oh wait a minute oh well, okay i thought that was okay i don't oh man this backpack though okay tell you what i will work on that off camera no you know what i'd better i'd better if there's anything i can do for you please please tell me I know it's going to happen. 
I better go ahead and try to clean I'm this sure out. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. What I need is a chest. Okay, so. Yeah, my inventory management is going to go to... Heck. All right, so I think I should probably keep that. And I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay, is there anything I know I can sell for now? No. Oh, I can I can sell the I can sell these. And then I could probably get rid of So I don't know what Sten is working with. And so I don't wanna oh wait. Oathkeeper. Can I use that? I'm pretty sure I can. And it has an enchantment slot. Okay, let's talk Hello. to Sandal. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a, what was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Well, uh, what enchantment, bleh, what enchantments, <laughs> what? <laughs> what enchantments does he do? I want some enchanting done. Why is it so hard for me to say that word? I'd like to see what other goods you have. Well, um, what enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! There you have it. I love Sandal. Okay, I want to see some. I want some enchanting done. I do. I hope I have some. Enchantment. I think I do. Yes, I do. I have a um, couple here. So, what do we want? Uh, let's do fire damage. Let's go with lightning. Yes, except. And I'm going to equip that sword for myself, you know. Well, I could probably give this to... I mean, I could really use this, but let me see what Alistair has. I mean, Alistair's a tank. He really doesn't need to do damage, but if this is better for him. Uh, you know, I'm going to give Oathkeeper to myself. Oathkeeper. Hello, um... Game of Thrones, Oathkeeper. Um, okay, so we will give Alistair the family sword. Let's give him that because it has one damage. I know this, I'm probably going to get reamed in the comments for this, but um, I don't want to give up the uh, family sword yet. And it has a little bit of damage and attack on it, even though he doesn't really need that. Per se. Okay, and I'm just going to quickly look at Sten. Okay, Sten has nada. All right, he is a two handed uh, type of guy, so I'm going to. This is the chase and flap. Okay, ward, let's see, balanced. Okay, we're going to give him this, no questions. And then I need to give him some armor. So. Yeah, we're gonna give him heavy chain mail. Uh, these gloves here. We're gonna give him this ugly helm and these boots. And yeah, that'll do it. I think I can get rid of the rest of this stuff. I don't know what does what does um Morgan have on. Let's just let her keep what she has on, and then Liliana. She's good. Okay. All right, let's go. Um, I don't want to talk to Morgan yet. Let's just head out because um, I want to get started on our quests. Yeah. So let's go. All right, so we're going to take... Hmm... I don't want to put too much melee in our party. I definitely want to have a mage. And I want I want to take Alistair yes. right now. 
Uh, I guess either way we're going to have melee. I guess we can go ahead and take Sten. Let's take Sten. Yes. All right. This should be interesting. Okay, so we're in our campsite right now. We just left Lotharine. I guess we can decide where we're going to go from here. Um, I think the first area I'm going to go, because we have um, four factions we need to pick up. Or is it three? Girl? Okay. So we need to actually uh, recruit the elves, the dwarves, um, and uh, we need to go to, oh my gosh, Redcliffe and rec recruit the bit recruit. <laughs> uh, we need to recruit um, their armies. So, oh, so that's three. Um, oh, and the mages. So four. Okay. So our best route will be i mean we could go either way let's just go ahead and go to the mage tower and um that's i mean we're yeah we're closest well we were closer to the brazilian forest but we'll go here ew ew All right. Jeez. Anything? Anything good? None of these guys have anything to loot. Now's better than later. Okay. I'm thinking that's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I was saying, we're going to go ahead and head to the mage tower and try to recruit the mages first. Um, that tends to be one of the longer quests. Um, yeah. I have a mod for the mage tower, but I'm going to not use that mod uh, and just work through the entire quest as is. And I'm going to loot first and head over to this inn. Um, I'm kind of regretting bringing Sten now that I think, well, whatever. grab this honestly I really need to clear out my inventory but I think I can do that in the mage tower let's talk to Kester oh, I bless my soul. what's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here well my distinguished personage would like to get across to the lake tower yeah <laughs> don't hold your breath no one's been allowed across the lake for days I'm the ferryman leastwise I used to be poor old Kester out of a job. I love how Kester refers to himself in the third person. So why can't I get across? Gregor just came down and said, don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat, Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. Okay, well, uh, who's Gregor? He's Knight Commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. Of course. Um... Is something wrong up there at the tower? So is there no way for me to get to the tower? You have no clue why they'd stop people from going across, let's say. So is there something wrong up there? I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. Well, um, is there no way to get across? You go on ahead then. They were nice talking to you. I did not mean to do that. Hey, come to see how old Kester's doing, eh? Yeah, I really would like to know. Um, well, let's ask him this. So do you know the Knight Commander Gregor well? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? 
He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. Okay, well, um, I can't stay. Good day, Kiss. Well, let's ask him about the circle. What are your opinions on the circle? Oh, I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? Okay, well, I can't stay. Good day, Kester. All right. Keep safe, you hear? Thank you. You too. Uh, what do you got over here? Now better than later. And who are you, sir? You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. I would like to know how you knew I was the Grey Warden. Uh, how may I help you? Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Look at that silly mage hat. Um, I can look at these requests. I cannot help you. Give me a reason not to turn you into the Templar. Okay, she would not do that. Not at this particular time. We need all the help we can get. And if we have to help people in order to get more help, so be it. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Why, thank you. So, what do we have here? Can I get okay. you a ladder? You can so, get back. yeah, sure. Places of power. We'll grab that. Careless accusations. I'm not going to sit here and read this, you guys. Notice of termination. Thy brother's killer. We'll read them as we go. Herbal magic. Okay. All right. So, we're going to head into this inn, and I will be back.